You will soon find out. The Wonder Woman film has a Herculean task ahead of it if it's to be considered a success. It not only has to do right by a feminist icon, but it also has to be good enough to break the DCEU stink streak. So, can it overcome an uneven lead performance, some poorly rendered special effects, and a frustratingly mishandled end fight? It can, and Wonder Woman proves to be an emotionally resonant film that won me over with its refreshing take on the superhero formula that featured something we haven't seen in the DCEU yet, a true bona fide hero. Despite being every bit a superhero origin movie, Wonder Woman's tale and philosophy are quite different from the superheroes we're used to. The film sets aside trying to explain her mythology and instead wholeheartedly embraces it. Signature items like her lasso, tiara, and bracelets organically present themselves as the story unfolds without stopping for exposition. Thank Hera for that. Told as a flashback, the story starts with Diana growing up in a society of warrior women and establishes her as a character who wants nothing more than to become a strong fighter. <laughs> Trouble in Paradise comes with the arrival of an American spy on the island, Chris Pine's Steve Trevor. The ensuing battle with his pursuers has some thrilling stunts, but there's a lack of focus and scope to the action that makes it somewhat hard to follow. That said, the emotional chords of the scene are struck loud and clear, convincingly lighting a fire in Gal Gadot's Diana that gives her character a mission for the rest of the film. Wonder Woman's best moments come less from the plot twists and more from Diana seeing the outside world mired in the atrocities of World War I and setting out to put them to an end. It is our sacred duty to defend the world. And it's what I'm going to do. In fact, the film's highlight is when she decides to ignore her doubters and climb out of the trenches, dressed in full costume, and walk headlong into German gunfire. Her black and white concept of good and evil makes her incredibly naive about the moral gray areas Steve and the rest of society swim in every day. And it's that clashing of worldviews that gives the movie so much great material. Oh. Yep, that's not gonna work. P please put the sword down. Her fights may not be as technically masterful as those in Batman v Superman, but goodness, they are a breath of fresh air for the superhero genre. She leaps high into the air and hits like a truck, constantly switching between attacking and defending. Conversations will doubtlessly rage on about whether this is a feminist movie that captures what Wonder Woman means to so many people around the world, but at the end of the day, she has ambitions, she has flaws, she fights her own battles, and no one tells her what to do. As far as superheroes go, Wonder Woman gets an equal, if not better, shake at being portrayed as a three-dimensional character. Now, given that this film features the inherently absurd mix of World War I-era soldiers and a society of immortal women, it required convincing performances from the supporting cast. And Pine delivers one, thanks to his charm balanced with the weariness of a man who has seen too much war. On the Themyscira side of things, Robin Wright's fearsome Antiope does a lot with her few scenes. As Queen Apollida, Connie Nielsen's balance of strength and empathy play well against Diana's brash nature, although their more heated scenes show Gadot isn't as experienced a performer as her castmates. If you choose to leave, you may never return. Who will I be if I stay? As far as the villains go, they have sparse screen time and do little more than incite conflict for Wonder Woman and company to deal with. Really, the film's true antagonist is war itself, as the ever-hopeful Diana must confront its many horrors and injustices. I am Diana of Themyscira, daughter of Hippolyta. Your wrath upon this world is over. Wonder Woman is leaps and bounds above the other three entries in the DCEU. With a dramatic setting, a few entertaining action scenes, and a strong supporting cast all working together to tell an inspirational hero's journey, it more than offsets some occasionally uneven acting on Gadot's part and some shaky technical aspects. The messy third act fight, however, is something that has plagued other superhero movies and is an obstacle even Wonder Woman cannot overcome. Overall, Wonder Woman is a win because it successfully tells the story of a woman taking on a war-torn world with the power of love. What's more heroic than that? Thanks for watching, and if you want to know about all the biggest upcoming films, check out IGN's hottest summer movies of 2017. Or find out what we thought about all the new blockbusters with our reviews of Baywatch and Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. And for everything superheroes, be sure to like and subscribe to IGN on all your screens.